Welcome to the Permco Training Series. On this episode, Matt shows us how to change the porting, change a cartridge, change a rotation, and change a shaft on an Evo vein pump. In this video, we'll show you how to change the porting on a single vein pump. Say you want your inlet on this side and your pressure here. Or maybe you want your inlet on this side. The first step is to loosen all four bolts in a crisscross pattern. Once all the bolts are loose, you're going to remove two across from each other. With the remaining two, lift them slightly out of the housing and insert a pry bar in the direction you want to rotate the housing. Make sure the pump is securely mounted to a table or a vise. As you start to turn, you'll feel resistance, but it will free up. Once you have the housing in the porting configuration that you desire, tighten down the two bolts in the pump and grab the two from the table. Tighten all four bolts using an impact wrench. Then in a crisscross pattern, torque the bolts to factory specifications. Removing a cartridge from a vein pump. The first step is to loosen all four bolts in a crisscross pattern. You may have seven to eight bolts on a double or triple unit. Remove the bolts, set them aside. Next, we gently tap the outer housing with a hammer. This allows us to free the housing from the cartridge and lift straight off. Now that we see our cartridge, we use a two-jaw puller or a similar tool to remove. Once the cartridge is free, ensure that the seal on the bottom is still on the cartridge and not in the shaft end cover. Changing rotation on a B, C, or D frame size cartridge. First, loosen the bolts on the top of the port plate and remove the port plate from the cartridge assembly. Be sure to set it on its side or propped up against the screws to avoid contamination to the unit. Remove the dowel pin, remove the cam ring, ensuring that no veins fall out, and flip it 180 degrees. Notice that the dowel pin hole has changed, and your screw holes have also changed. Reinstall the port plate, align the cartridge so all the sides are smooth, and re-tighten the screws on top of the port plate hand tight. Shaft removal and installation. The first step is to remove the snap ring. Next flip the shaft end cover over. Using an arbor press, press the shaft out through the shaft end cover. With the shaft removed, you can either leave or replace the shaft seal. In this case, we're leaving it in. Grab the new shaft or replacement shaft, place it in the shaft end cover, and press back into place. Once it's pressed back into place, take your snap ring pliers and your snap ring and reinstall. Installing a cartridge. Grab your shaft end cover with the shaft installed. Next grab the cartridge. Notice that there's a dowel pin on the top of the cartridge. This coordinates with a hole in the housing. So if you have your dowel pin here, we'll put the inlet port on the back side. Slide the housing over the cartridge and shift it until it falls onto the dowel pin. It will wiggle a little bit. Now press the housing down. Once the housing is pressed down, take your four bolts, install, and tighten them by hand. Once you have them tightened, run them down with your impact and torque to the factory specifications. This page is in your Evo catalogs.